<clears throat> All right, let's get into this bad boy. And welcome, 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 welcome to another edition of the Halftime Report with Pudge. Oh, that's right. It's time for another edition of the Halftime Report with Pudge. Go on, Pudge. One minute past the big hour at 6 o'clock, 6.01 on the big clock on the wall. And locked and loaded the blowtorch of all that is sport, Elos rock and roll, baby, and everything in between. KSIX, Corpus Christi, 1230 AM, 95.1 FM, and uh, streaming live on the internets as well for you there at uh, PudgeNation.com, everybody's favorite news sensation across the nation. Uh, website there, www.PudgeNation.com. Go there and uh, go in for the hang, man. We'll see you on the other side. Go check out the station, check out the show, live on the website there. There on your uh, while you're stuck at work, I know, right? And, but hey, you know what? You can also goof around on it. The boss won't be able to tell. We got video games there for you. We got music there for you. Uh, if you ever want to check out the um, all the playlists that I've got on Spotify that are suitable for you, <laughs> all of them are suitable for work except for one. There is one playlist that you cannot play at work. I mean, unless you got that office, or it's your last day and you really don't care. Um, but the name of the playlist, it says Pudge, all right, cause that's me, right? And then, there, then there's a colon, boop, you know, whatever that, that sound is, right? And then, and then it says, uh, NSFW, NSFW. No, 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 it's not a football, that's not a football league. No, 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 not at all. It's not suitable for work. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's true. Well, the fact is, is that this entire playlist that I put together that's not suitable for work, I don't know. I, I was, what was the word? I, I was feeling snarky on one particular day. And uh, I swear, man, that's a great word. Um, I decided, let's see if I can put together a playlist in which every single song has uh, inappropriate language in it, preferably an F-bomb. And by golly. <laughs> I put together a whole playlist, all right? So I'm just telling you, that's the one. Do not play at work and do not play at the Christmas party. Uh, no, no, no. It doesn't have a gap band on there. Here, jiggle your handle, man. Your microphone sucks today. Anyway, okay, there we go. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, all you have to do, if you ever want to, you know, check out the all the different playlists. Uh, what, didn't we have a guy that was like he was moving? And he went to Spotify, found my profile, and and uh, played me played one of my playlists while they were moving. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, well here's yeah here's what you do: go to Spotify and go to where the profiles are. Okay, you'll see the word profiles. Click on that and type in Pudge Nation. Okay, Pudge Nation, and all of a sudden all my playlists will pop up. Bing, and just have a good time with those. All right, uh, you're welcome. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're listening to America's only rock and roll sports talk show. Also happens to be the only talk show in America that when it's all said and done, uh, well, talk show host, right side of history. You don't believe me? Ask Brooklyn. Call the show at 884-1230, 884-1230. Text the show at 361-884-1230. That's area code 361-884-1230. Wait. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of social medias, just go to uh, Twitter or uh, Instagram. Add on air with Pudge. Booyah. There I am. Okay. I think even Snapchat, I think I got an account there. Add on air with Pudge. And then, of course, Facebook Live. We do that Monday through Friday from 6 to 9 a.m. And that, that, that's when the show is. The show is from 6 to 9 a.m. every Monday through Friday. Uh, if you just joined us, you know, well, welcome to the club. And uh, But at the top of each hour, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 8 o'clock, we go live on Facebook with Facebook Live. All you have to do is uh, 
go to the search bar, type in Pudge Nation, two words, like it, follow it. And then you have access to all the mayhem known as the Halftime Report with Pudge. Uh, is that a Rage Against the Machine song? Oh, one of the Rage Machine got a pocket full of shells is on that playlist. Well, here, here. You want to know what's on the playlist? Okay, fair. Somebody wants to know, you know, like I said, on Spotify. Let's see here. Here I am, here I am. Uh, oh, there's my playlist. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's look for NSFW. Okay. Don't mind me. Which... Oh, here we go. No, it's not the sound of Philadelphia or Watusi. All right. Uh, I start off strong. I start off strong. I can't even tell you the name of the song. Okay, but let's just say it's F.U. by CeeLo Green. Right there. Whack. Okay, that's a strong song on a playlist that's not suitable for work. Oh, not this forget you. That's what you play at weddings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who doesn't love CeeLo, you know? Come on. All right. I follow that up with Crazy Bitch by Buck Cherry. Okay, that one right there. That's a double hit. Whack, right? Where's that two for Tuesday over at C101? Uh, let's see here. Sinner Swing by Van Halen. Uh... Because I Got High by Afro Man. Great song. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Jet Airliner, Steve Miller, Money by Pink Floyd. What It's Like by Everlast. Now, here's the key with that Everlast tune. I get fed up and just frustrated, infuriated when radio stations play that song. Because it's like every other word they have to beep out or they have to, to remove. It, 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 I mean, there's so many inappropriate words in that song. You really is like, okay, why are we listening to this song? Well, on this playlist, <laughs> no, no, no. There is not a single beep in it. <laughs> You'll finally hear what the lyrics are to that song. Uh, follow that up, a strong effort by uh, uh, Ludacris with What's Your Fantasy? Mom's favorite. And then, of course, how can you not have a, an NSFW playlist and not have Closer by Nine Inch Nails? Come on, right? Boom, there you know. Woo, it's like every other word is an F-bomb on that one. And then this one, just for the old people in the room, just because, you know, when you're feel, feeling frisky or perhaps feeling snarky, uh, Bitch by the Rolling Stones. Come on, right there. It's in the name, right? Not really appropriate for work. Peach by Prince. Yeah, it's got one of my all-time favorite lyrics in that tune. Uh, Mr. Brownstone, Guns N' Roses. Who are you, the who? Oh, yeah. No, not the radio edit. Not at all. No, sir. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I Want Your Sex by George Michael. Uh, Spit It Out by Whitesnake. Uh, Domino by Kiss. The Pusher by Steppenwolf. Big Balls, ACDC, followed by Rocker. Because once again, why would you play one without the other? I hate it when radio stations do that. If you're an ACDC fan and you hear Big Balls on the radio, aren't you like, dude? And then you know from Dirty Deeds, Dunder Dirt Chief, that, I mean, that song goes, boom, right into the next one, Rocker. And it, the radio stations around here, no, 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 you only get one song. Rather, it's the inappropriate song, but that's the one we're going to play. Oh, just get away from me. Um, Come Together by the Beatles. Only because I can't believe the FCC let that one hit the airwaves in 1969. That's amazing. Uh, Young, Wild, and Free by Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, and Bruno Mars. Uh, if There's a Hell Below by Curtis Mayfield. Absolutely. That's a good one. Uh, let's see. In the Club by 50 Cent. Only Women Bleed by Alice Cooper. Been Down So Long, The Doors. Long View from Green Day. She Hates Me by Puddle of Mud. Oh, yeah, no edits there. Roller by a Limp Biscuit. Or Rolling, rather, by a Limp Biscuit. Thank you. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, and here for our super fan. By the way, minus 11, you didn't sign the text. But yeah, Killing in the Name, Rage Against the Machine. Cowboy, unedited, finally. By Kid Rock. Push It by Salt and Pepper, only because it's in the name. That's not the name of the song. I mean, when it became a hit, they had to go, well, we can't go on the radio with uh, with the actual name of that song by Salt and Pepper. And I said, well, some people think they're saying push it. Okay, we'll go with that, yeah. No, it's the regular song that they play on the radio every single day. It's right there, right in front of you. Uh, shh, 
What? No, it was just called. No, it was the name. I have a twelve inch single at home. Mm -hmm. That uh, yeah, it has the real name of the the song, and actually it was the side B. Uh, Walking the Wild Side, Lou Reed, just because we're inappropriate. Uh, Money for Nothing by Dire Straits, once again. Uh, hashtag me too. Mr. Cab Driver by Lenny Kravitz. I love that one. Strong F-bomb effort on that one. Start Me Up by the Rolling Stones. Once again, it's right there under your nose. It is played daily in stadiums, at high school football games, and on the radio. And everybody's cool with it. And I'm just like... Okay. <laughs> so, and yeah, that made it. Uh, Grease Lightning by John Travolta from Grease. Because once again, uh, yeah, you might want to go back and listen to the words there, uh, Teacher of the Year. Yeah, this, it's Spirit Week. We're all dressing up like the 50s, okay? So all the, all the boys are going to dress like the T-Birds and the girls are going to dress like the Pink Ladies. <sighs> okay. Sure, why not? We'll go with that, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, My Ding-A-Ling by Chuck Berry. Big hit. Uh, Damn, it feels good to be a gangster by the Ghetto Boys. That's that's a good one. And then I finished strong. I got two here. I got two strong ones here uh, that wrap up this playlist. Uh, Me So Horny by Two Live Crew. <laughs> and uh, Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-A-Lot. Yeah. Are there any songs Not a single one of them. And that right there is three hours and one minute of just white hot, just red hot, uh, just inappropriate tunes. So, I tell you what, man, make sure to play that playlist when your in laws show up. You know, like, hang on a second. <laughs> you know, boom, CeeLo right there as they're walking in through the front door. Well, that's the idea. Yeah. So, anyway. all right. So, oh, Daniel, he signed. Daniel signed it. He, he was on his, uh, he was on a plane on the way to Spain. Oh, Daniel signed. No, Daniel signed. Oh, you squat. Oh, oh, ow. Oh. Okay. Anyway, I really, I swear to God, I went to Six Flags one year as a kid, and we were watching the uh, the Chinese acrobats, and one guy was on the floor laying. Well, actually, he was laying on the back of his partner who was on all fours. It was a weird moment, but anyway, the one one Chinese dude is on all fours. The other guy's laying on top of him, but back to back. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, kind of like how you and your wife sleep, back to back. Yeah, like that. But imagine the one Chinese dude is legs and hands are up in the air. No, not at all. Anyway, so yeah, so. Uh, the guy starts juggling this vase, a vase that's the size of a human. Okay? Uh, no, it was just a, a prop is what it was. Yeah. And so anyway, so Holmes is spinning this thing. I mean, I get, if I close, close your eyes and I'll see, still see this. Some Chinese dude spinning a vase. And then one moment his leg slipped and so did the vase. Then the vase hit his head. And I swear what he said was, oh, <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> what, the Beatles? Hmm. Well, have you seen the album cover? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's, they got the little babies on there, I'll butcher them. Okay. Anyway, so Daniel, Daniel's traveling tonight on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> He's heading for Spain. It's the best thing he's ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh, why? <laughs> I can see Daniel saying goodbye. You know? Later, peace, I'm out. Here's a playlist. <laughs> okay, so um, yesterday was the uh, the Monday Night Madness. Yikes. <laughs> oh, Red Hot Comedy is how that worked out. <laughs> Let's reflect. Want to? <laughs> it was such an innocent time. It was about mm, 12 hours ago. So here's what happened. Uh, we'll call this Love American Style Mayhem. Um, I have, I have, look, don't judge. Don't judge. Just leave me alone on this one, all right? I have three cars, all right? Just work with me on this. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I have three vehicles under my ownership. Okay, just go with me on this one. We can judge me later, okay? All right. Anyway, so I have three vehicles. Well... Obviously, yesterday I was driving the wrong vehicle. Why do I say that? Well, because as I'm pulling into the parking lot at Oslo Beach Golf Course, I realized, oh wow, the prizes are in the other car. <laughs> so, yeah, six seasons, man, six seasons of uh, of golf, and the first time I showed up without the prizes. You were good for six seasons. Well, you know, I was due. So uh, I walked in empty-handed. 
People were perplexed. Befuddled, I tell you. Hey, Pudge, where are the prizes? Yeah, about that. Hey, but I tell you what, I'm a Cub Scout, man. I, I adapt, I adjust, I overcome. Right now, John Lennon goes, did somebody say come? Come together? Come together? Yeah, okay. Anyway. Come together. Yeah. Means about, hey, let's all get together. The Young Bloods. Let's all get together. Sing along. Um, yeah, I got a blank sheet of paper cut into 10 pieces, and I wrote different prize names on there. So, <laughs> what's a POU? <laughs> Pudge <-O's. laughs> Yes. So, uh, hey, they got my autograph, you know, for what it's worth. So, anyway, so later on this morning. <laughs> hey, man. No, our sponsors give strong prizes, dude. I know you just, you know, but anyway, I mean, you know, first, man, I mean, is that a hundred dollar gift certificate? Holy cow. Right. Okay. $25 gift card from Rudy's $25 gift card from uh, BJ's brew house, uh, fun trackers with free rounds of mini golf and go-kart rides and, and, uh, hard knocks with free wings. And, uh, what else would do? What else? Do? Oh, hooks tickets. Come on now. Free rounds of golf. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there, man. Anyway. So. <laughs> All right, it's a chipping contest. So, yeah, so uh, later on this morning, I've got to go back to the scene of the crime. I've got to go to the golf course and go, hey, anybody here for prizes? Yeah. I've got to do that. Oh, and then let's double down. Let's throw in some lightning. You know, for years I've been saying that my golfers are a bunch of sick puppies, you know, which is kind of cute. You know, I like to say it. It gives them like a little attitude or whatever. Um, little do I know that, uh, man, I was spot on. Those guys are sick puppies. So it's about, let's call it 7.15, right? Right? 7.15 and uh, yikes. There was one, one lightning bolt. I don't know where it hit, but fish are floating. All right? I'm just saying that uh, the, the thunder, thunder, uh, the thunder lasted a solid 15 seconds. It was like when you have gas and you get one of those that just goes forever. It's like, all right already. You know, yeah, okay. The wife's offended. The children are crying. Yeah, one of those. I swear to God, it rattled the windows at the uh, the golf course, you know? I was like, you know, I've crop dusted a you know, restaurant before, but now I haven't made windows rattle before, you know? No. Well, I tell you what, man, those windows were rattling. At which point, Gary, who's everybody's favorite golf pro, uh, he looks at me and goes, what do you think? Bring the boys in? I was like, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, against lawsuits. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I, you know, this is golf. It's supposed to be fun, you know. So how about we not have anybody, anybody die on the golf course today? Yeah, blow the horn. Oh, no, man, he's got a horn there to make the hair in your ears stand up straight. and goes, yes, sir. Uh, man, he hit that horn. You know, and it's just like, holy cow, right? So immediately, if you're a golfer, you hear that, you're like, oh, bring it in, boys, which I can't believe these people needed to wait for a horn to bring it in. Because, I mean, once I saw that lightning, I'd be, I don't know about you, but I'm like, all right, boys, let's pack it up. You know, golf clubs and everything. Whee! I could be in mid-transaction with the beer cart girl and go, can we finish this while we're inside? And while we're at it, here, you hold the metallic coins. There you go. What's the big deal, right? I mean, all that happens is sand attracts lightning. That's one. Two, you're in a big swath of earth that every so often there's a tree. So where do you run and hide? Under a tree. Where are you not supposed to hide during a lightning storm? Under a tree. Then on top of that, let's go ahead and let's ride in a cart made of metal. All right? Lightning hits that thing. Believe me, you're going to blow out more than just the tires on that thing, you know? You'll be driving on rims. But then on top of that, oh, wait a second. Let me hold this stick made of metal. Yeah, how about we blow that horn and get everybody inside? Yeah. 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 Well, pretty much because I, I didn't check their, you know, origin of faith or anything. But I tell you what, the guys came in early. They were very appreciative. It was big. We had fat rain. You know, we had sideways rain. We even had rain that was coming up from the ground. Yeah, that's right, because it was hitting the ground. 
Anyway. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Once again, go back to that Prince tune. Thinking of, speaking of things that bounce. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> so uh, all the guys came in and we handed out prizes. We, we, we adapted, we adjusted, we overcame and we, we, we figured out a way to, to, you know, hand out prizes. And once again, I didn't have the prizes. So they walked, no, they walked away with a piece of paper that, you know, I had my, my, my writing on there. They said, oh, a pair of ticks, <clears throat> hooks. There you go. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> anyway, so we hand out the prizes. Everybody's gotten in another brewski. A couple guys ordered some food. Everybody's eating the free popcorn that we have, right? So you got all that stuff going on. Finally, it's time to leave. I'm out of here. Amscram. Peace. I'm history. It was an early evening. As I'm leaving the golf course and I'm driving down the long, long driveway road that takes you out of uh, out of Oslo Beach out to Alameda. On each side of the road are holes of golf. You know, there's a fairway on this side, there's a green and a, and a bunker on that side, right? Uh, yeah. So, sure, why not? So anyway, I didn't see any sausage, but hey, you, you, do, you do you, boo. So I'm driving down that road and I look to my right and I suddenly realize there are still golfers out there. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I, I saw like five golf carts, you know, and, and these guys are in here, whack, you know, I just hit, I'm like, in my head, I was like, well, obviously they're not part of my tournament because all the guys came in from the tournament, but what is wrong with these people, you know? So, uh, those are your, uh, those are your sick puppies. Yeah, well, they should get a t shirt for that, you know, it says sick puppies on there. Pretty impressive. So that happened last night at Monday Night Golf. And then uh, I went home and ate some chalupas. And by the way, because I hate white people, don't believe me, ask the, uh, the listener there. Um, it, fine, white white guy, you wanna call it a tostada, knock your socks off. Taco Bell obviously taught you to, hey, you can get a tostada for two ninety nine. You know, Okay, good for you. I don't know. But Mexicans? How did the Mexicans get, get cut, talked into saying, hey, let me go ahead and have one of them tostadas? Que que? And why you talk, hey, Holmes, why you talking? No, no, hombre, we grew up in the same block, man. No, no, you were two houses over. Que que es este country and western? Hey, I tell you what, let me have one of them tostadas. Este, isn't your name Rodriguez? No, um, uh, no. Uh, no, no, it's uh, Rod Rodriguez. You know, like, what? <clears throat> you know, anyway. Sanchez? It's like, what is your problem? Well, anyway. It's a, it's a, it's a chalupa. A chalupa's been a chalupa my entire life. Now, all of a sudden, I got Mexicans looking at me going, would you like a tostada? Would you like, I'm over here going, would you like to stop sounding like Brian Gumble? What the hell, dude? No, it doesn't. There's not a single L in Chupacabra, man. I, you know, I, okay. I'm just, it's a chalupa, man. No. Well, that's what I'm saying. White guy, white, Tom, you get a pass. You can say tostada. All right? No. No, you, I refuse. You refuse to say tostada? Not if we're talking about a chalupa. But, right? Okay, what the hell? It's a chalupa. Where's it? I'd I'm, like, I'm way too Mexican for that. I'd like three tostadas, please. And can you not put anything on it but the beans? No, my child is allergic to cheese and air. So just put yeah, uh, one bean, in fact, and just spread that baby all over the, 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 the chip. What the hell? Girl, you grew up in the Molina. What the hell is that all about? Just because you marry a guy named Craig doesn't mean that all of a sudden you forgot what a chalupa is. What the hell? And I get the looks. I get the looks. Because I'm at a restaurant. I'll go, yeah, we have a, a, a chalupa plate. Okay, okay. A chalupa plate? A chal no, uh, no, este, no, este, and, and, and menu. Oh, wait, hang on. May I have a tostada plate? Oh, tostada, see. Si. I'm like, hey, even you? Really? A tostada plate? Who convinced you it was a tostada? You know, I bet you when you go up to Maine, tons of tostadas up there. Uh, yeah, yeah, get ready for black beans and tostadas. Oh, yeah, black beans. So and to yeah, tostadas. So 
Uh, toast with avocado? That's all it is. No, it's not. What? A tostado? No, no. No, 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 no. no it's not. That would be a tostado. You know what, you know what, you know what it's called when you put a, a, a avocado on toast? It's called man bun. That's what that's called, all right? It's a man bun, okay? Unbelievable. I had, no. Uh, I had, I had, I actually had an, I, there's, there's like about five minutes of my life I'm never going to get back in which I was going back and forth with this woman about, she insisted on calling it Tostana. And I'm like, you mean a Chalupa? And girlfriend, girlfriend was Hispanic. And I'm like, you mean a Chalupa? No, I mean a Tostada. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, Chalupa, right? Okay, let me see. We got, a, we got, we got a tortilla. You mean the, the crispy chip? Uh, sure, why not? The crispy yeah. chip. Yeah, okay. And on you, you spread beans on that. Yes, I did have a frijoli on there. All right, and then you put like uh, you put cheese so it'll melt. Well, I like the cheese on the top top, as a, that way it doesn't melt. I don't like melted cheese on my tostada. <sighs> All right, uh, lettuce, tomato. Yes, but you know what? It has to be that more like a spinach lettuce. You know, and if they can just cut it diagonally, if I could have them cut the crust off of lettuce, I would. But unfortunately, there's no crust on lettuce. But anyway, yeah. So the, the lettuce, and then you know, I like those tomatoes. I like the, I like those little, those just those really red uh, Roma tomatoes. You know, and if they cut them ever so slightly, and slice my tomatoes, please. I don't like that diced tomato thing. It, it gets too soggy. But a nice slice, like I'm eating a BLT. Just a nice sliced tomato on top of the on top of the kelp on on top of the kale. A, a kale chip. In fact, do you have any kale chips for my tostada? I swear to God, I'm gonna leap across this table. Swear to God. I, I have been there to lunch with somebody like that. Yeah. I remember one time, and it's Hispanic woman, very prominent in the business in the business community back when I was the business editor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I invited her to lunch. And uh, invited her to lunch over at Recios. <laughs> and uh, and I ordered. It was a it was a cool day. I think it was a cool day. So I ordered my noodle, and she goes, "You like that stuff?" I go, "Yeah." And she orders a taco salad, or what I believe old Trumpsky calls uh, a taco bowl. You know, the the salad that's yeah, inside yeah, the yeah. that's inside the yeah. giant fried yeah. chip. Okay, yeah. and uh, they the rest of us were just looking down their noses at her like, oh, who's this fake Mexican you brought here? Hey, hey Mike, <laughs> when did Tom become the NPR host? What the hell was that, man? I mean, what the did you hear? I, I swear to God. Like, yeah, good times. Oh, good times. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good times. They made it with the what the hell? Yeah, good, good times. Yeah, we we had uh, low calorie, low fat uh, tostadas there for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Right now, uh, this morning, said, you know, I've got to be more FM. I, I I got I've got one listener who says I'm an honorary Mexican. It's a chalupa. Ay Dios mio, uh, signed by a uh, uh, Djibouti Joe. Okay, and then uh, let's see what else we have here. <laughs> Wait, on, what on, was on, the on name again? Djibouti Jeff. It's Djibouti. Djibouti. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Chris on uh, on the uh, Facebook Live says it's not a chalupa; it's a big nacho. All right. Did you ever hear that that Texas country guy's song about Djibouti? My booty? No, booty. I thought it was for Mix-a-Lot, right? And he's like, he, like, he'd never been there or anything. He didn't have no idea where it was. He just thought it sounded funny, so he had to write a song. Yeah. It says, uh, and, <laughs> it was, uh, it is dirty in Djibouti. In Djibouti. And it's stinky yeah. in Djibouti. Well, I've been, I've and never, it's nasty in Djibouti. I've never been to Djibouti. And I like it in Djibouti. <laughs> you know, Tom, something you woke up. I'm a little concerned, all right? You know? Tom, well, well, we know how to wake up Tom. Yeah, just start talking about Djibouti. Yeah, apparently we're going to get you a plane ticket there. All right, I just got a text from Nancy Beta, who's with the, uh, she's the president. Wait, the, uh, how did you know it was a text from Nancy Beta? It says her because name. she signed uh, it? Yeah. Well, uh, it's oh, it's, oh, it's that kind of text. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, on my phone, actually. She didn't yeah. text the show. She no, texted. I guess she doesn't know I'm on the air right now, but in any case. Well, she's saying hi, Pudge. Equivalent. She says the Texas AFT president, Zeb Capo, is going to be in town this week. 
Would it be possible for him and me to uh, be, you know what, minus five? It should it be uh, he, him and I, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I had lunch yesterday. You would have been proud of me, Mike. I was thinking of you while I was eating my, uh, my salad. I. Yeah, yeah. The chicken fried steak, mm, well, it wasn't. Uh, well, well, now, I, now I know. Now, I, now I'm told, yeah. What, you and I? Yeah, you and I, chicken fried steak? Yeah. Dude, it was thinner than this piece of paper over here, man. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I love me. I mean, I, I walked away full. I had the salad. I had the uh, the, the the cream of uh, broccoli soup. Yeah. I had crackers. I had a roll. I had veggies. I had the. I mean, I was like, oh, we, oh, you know. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, she's asking. Yeah, absolutely. She's asking if it'd be cool for the two of those crazy kids to be on our show Friday. Huh. Well, well, Tom, you're in you charge of what booking. Friday is though. Friday is, is the judge. Here comes the judge. Yeah. She's at seven thirty, right? Yeah. Okay. So when? Did oh, it was six thirty. Yeah, six thirty. We can have them. Yeah, they can if they want to be oiling. Oiling. All right, we'll do that. Okay, yeah. I'll let her know. Okay. Absolutely. Well, here's the thing. We had some NBA action last night in which some teams showed up and some teams didn't. So we'll talk about that. Major League Baseball action last night. Our our beloved Astros and beloved Rangers were playing each other. Yeah. And the super were Oh, weren't they? And then, of course, we had the weather. Yeah. yeah. Weather was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So let's take a pause for the cause. When we come back, we'll get into, into this soiree known as the halftime report we played. Sound like a plan? Yes, it does. All right, boys, let's do it. Yeah, we'll be back right after this. All righty. Let's see what we got here. I want to thank, uh, man, Ray and Jeff and uh, Pudgy. Yeah, and, and uh, good morning, Pudge. Another great show. Waiting for the rain. Thank you. Uh, let's see, two days away from the draft, and I don't mean beer. That's right. Eli, thanks for checking in. And uh, Chris, everybody, uh, thank you all for checking in. We greatly appreciate it. You can't see through the reflection, but it's still dark outside. And, uh, yeah, crazy times. There's Mike back there. Hi, Mike. Okay. Anyway, he's, he's hard at work. He's acting, he's pretending like he's doing something. <laughs> all right. Hey, y'all have a great day, all right? We will chat later. All right, peace.